Show me a filter that really delivers the taste, and I'll eat my hat. Try this one. New Lucky Strike filters. How's about taking a nap? I, I got a better idea. Let's take a Winston break. That's it! Winston, Winston tastes real good. Rich and full like a... Protect mouth, teeth, and throat. Mouth, teeth, and throat. Teeth, and throat. Just enough in every puff makes every puff a pleasure. Come to where the flavor is. Come to Marlboro Country. Snow Fresh. Filter cool. Twenty-nine years old, last cigarette. So here it is, my last cigarette ever. My last cigarette. Last cigarette. This is my last cigarette. Last cigarette. Last cigarette. Remember, I said I had one cigarette left. Changed my mind. With a heart of gold, with the ways of a gentleman, I've been told the kind of a fella that would be harm flea. But if me and a certain character met, that guy that invented the cigarette, I'd murder that son of a gun in the first degree. Hi, I'm Cece Whetstone, and I am 23 years old. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hate people that smoke. It's terrible. I hate the smell of it. When I'm around people that smoke, it gives me headaches. I just cannot understand why you would want to do something like that to your body. It's disgusting. My name is Ruben, um, 49 years old. Um, I've been smoking, wow, I think I've been smoking consistently as far as regularly buying packs for about we do all things. 15 years. And then the on and off, smoking with my friends, one cigarette or two cigarettes a day, probably five, seven years before that, probably a total of about 20 to 23 years I've been smoking. I don't understand how people can smoke as long as they smoke. I mean, I know people that smoke as long as I've been alive, and that's just ridiculous. I usually buy Winston. The reason I buy Winston is because, tell you the truth, not to promote it or anything, but it's the only cigarette made with 100% pure tobacco. People say they smoke different kinds of cigarettes because one brand is better than the other brand. No additives. It doesn't matter, it's all tobacco. No preservatives. It's all killing you, it's all getting stuck in your lungs, it's disgusting and you're gonna die. Ding. <laughs> Uh, my name is Sarah Zadovich. Uh, my credentials are I'm a doctor of osteopathic medicine and my job title is associate medical examiner at the District 9 Medical Examiner's Office in Orlando. I in general don't do it. Um, there's nothing good that can come out of it uh, from a health standpoint, from a financial standpoint. Um, it's, in my opinion, just not worth it. Lungs are like sponges designed to soak up air. But some people use their lungs to soak up cigarette smoke. If you could wring out the cancer-producing tar that goes into the lungs of a pack-a-day smoker every year, this is how much you'd get. When you see like a truth commercial or something, what does that make you think? Let's say like when I see. Well, first of all, them truth commercials scare the shit out of me because, you know, you see these people losing limbs and. Talking with the thing that you know, I'm not trying to talk like that, but... I feel like 
you know what you're doing to your body. It's not like a hidden fact. Truthfully, I think, I don't know, for some reason, there's a sort of feeling of immunity, which I know I don't have, but. If you know that smoking's bad for you, you know you can die from it. It's nothing hidden. A healthy lung should kind of feel like a marshmallow almost. And in somebody who's been smoking their entire life, it's going to be almost like a wet sponge. Um, and you can actually see bigger holes in the tissue itself because that tissue has died and is gone now. And it also gets this really gross kind of green staining to the tissue as well. Uh, during an autopsy, the type of things that we see for somebody who's been a lifelong smoker, uh, internally the most prominent thing that you'll see is going to be in the lungs. So they'll be discolored uh, on the external surfaces. Uh, they'll have kind of these black uh, lines uh, that's from anthracotic pigment. That's one of the pigments that's um, uh, developed when there's combustion from the, from the actual burning of the tobacco. Um, the consistency of the lungs will be different. Externally, um, many times they look older than they actually are. Uh, the wrinkles are very deep in the face and particularly around the mouth. Um, that's called the smoker's pucker because of that repetitive motion of, of putting the cigarette in the mouth, uh, as well as the crow's feet because they squint a lot of times. So a lot of times they'll just look older than they really are. Um, There'll also be discoloration of the teeth and sometimes um, periodontal disease or, or bad gums, if you want to think of it that way. Those are some of the things that you can see externally. I noticed that I smoke and I don't like the smell of smoke. Like, I don't like to smoke in my truck, but when I do, and then I'll get out of the truck and come back a few minutes later and I smell the smoke, it's kind of offends me and it's my truck and my smoke. So I can imagine how another person that doesn't smoke feels, So which is why I usually try to stay away from people that don't smoke and I'll go in a secluded area, you know, because the smoke offends me. Imagine a person that doesn't smoke. So I would just say to people, don't smoke, you know. But it's funny saying that as I'm puffing a cigarette. So that's like me calling the kettle black. Somebody who smokes over time, uh, there are compounds uh, in the smoke that will trigger an inflammatory response from the body. So when that inflammation occurs, those cells will produce certain chemicals. Uh, which will actually destroy the tissue of the lung. Like, how much does a pack cost? Like, $7? Close to $10? Now, if you smoke a pack a day, there's 365 days in a year. My, multiply that by 10, that's a lot of money. Like, you're just throwing down the drain for a bad habit. When you smoke, the chemicals you inhale cause mutations in your body. And mutations are how cancer starts. I think one of the most unusual things that I saw related to smoking um, was, uh, it wasn't an autopsy actually, it was a uh, surgical specimen. So this person had uh, part of their small intestines removed. And so I found five cigarette butts in their intestines. So it turned out this person, you know, had some had some issues, um, and one of the things this person liked to do was to eat their cigarettes. Um, after they smoked them down, they would eat the butts. So I, I retrieved five cigarette butts out of the small intestines, and the really interesting thing is, they looked perfect. They looked like you just pulled them out of the pack. Don't. It's a it's a real suck ass habit. I would say stop. Stop smoking. Do it while you still can. If you just bought your first pack of cigarettes two minutes ago, make it be your last pack. Save yourself time, money, heartache. It's not like it's too expensive. How much is a pack of smokes now? It's like seven bucks. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh.